Alright, what's up guys? So, I just got done listening to the uh, Mr. Llama SC Diablo 2 dev stream. I was thinking, it's an hour and a half long, there's got to be some new information in there. This is going to be the TLDR version because it was really just a huge waste of time and I don't want anyone else to have to waste their time. I watched it on 1.5 to 2x speed because after the first few minutes there was nothing new that was discussed that wasn't already in the patch 2.4 announcement. Uh, the only new piece of information that I heard in there really was that um, as far as what will happen at the end of the ladder season with your stash tabs, you'll get three remove only stash tabs, kind of similar to what you get in PoE when your um, tabs are all full. So you'll have three remove only tabs at the end of the ladder season and you'll have until the end of the next ladder season to take everything out of it before it would get replaced with the uh, stuff from that following ladder when that ladder ends. So you'll have um, four months to get your stuff out. Right now they're, they're well, as they said, looking at four month ladder. Everything else, um, they talked a little bit about design philosophy. They're looking at buffing skills and buffing other items versus nerfing things um, and just making small changes to the game right now, but they're open to making much bigger changes down the road. They just don't want to come out the gate uh, with really big changes and potentially piss off the community. So they're looking at buffing things through you know, quality of life changes, um, synergy changes, just things of that nature to make more things viable and usable in the game. They're not really looking to nerf anything, which is good. Um, they, they talked a, about a few changes with the classes, but it was pretty much everything that was already in the announcement patch. And until we get actual patch notes, um, there's not really any point going over it because anything could change between now and then. Um, and, and then as far as the mercenaries go, they're looking at buffing the other um, three mercenaries to, to make them viable. Doing this through just changes to the mercenaries as well as with the new rune words they're going to bring out. Um, it sounds like they're wanting to make those uh, also buff the mercenaries and they're kind of looking at having some rune words to fill in the level 40 to 60 gap where while you're leveling because there's a lot of good low level rune words and a lot of good high level rune words but there's kind of a kind of lacking in that level 40 to 60 area um, just for for like leveling rune words so that they're looking at filling in that gap as well um, pretty much everything else was already covered in the announcement patch, so it's just kind of a waste of time to uh, watch this, I'm sorry to say. And it'll save you from listening to um, his kind of irritating voice, which maybe that's just me, I don't know. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed um, hearing about the, the changes that are coming. And I'm probably going to take a little break from Diablo 2. Just doesn't really feel like there's much point playing now until the 2.4 patch and then just playing in the ladder. So I'm going to be probably playing some other games. Um, they've got the uh, that fighting game DNF Duel coming up this weekend. Uh, I've got some indie games that I haven't tried out that I've bought on sale on Steam as well as some other stuff. So. Uh, if you're not interested in that, you know, then just stick around uh, till the ladder starts and I'll probably start making some more Diablo 2 content or Lost Ark, just depending on which ga game I <laughs> end up playing at that time. Um, till then, probably going to be some, some more indie content, um, probably make, probably do a playthrough on Baldur's Gate. So. Thanks for listening, guys, and remember to give them the deed.